Okay, that's right. And so what we looking at right here, that you know, and, and you know, I, I I had to I had to put it down on their ass, you know, make sure that they ain't disrespecting our people and the greatness of our people. Now what I'm giving y'all, you know, y'all should you know y'all should understand. You know, this is five power that cannot be refuted. Cannot be refuted. You see what I'm saying? I had to chop. Now, we talking about the world. That's right. Get them notes. Take them now. Because I'm dropping hardcore fact. And the motherfucker think they could come back and refute it. You understand? I'm dealing with elements that people not dealing with. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, how many people you hear talking about freestanding structures? You don't hear people talking about freestanding structures. They don't be free damn stuff. You know, because you know, why do we have to discuss freestanding structures? Because a lot of time motherfuckers are going to tell you that there's pyramids, uh, uh, you know, somewhere else in the planet. You understand what I'm saying? They talking about this, you know, it's pyramids somewhere in the black power to my family out there. That, you know, that there's ain't no goddamn freestanding structure. And freestanding structure mean that the building is standing up of its own weight and power. There ain't no help. You can't have no help. You understand what I'm saying? And so when you come to the Americas, a lot of they so-called pyramids are mound pyramids. That mean, in, 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 though that's our family, and though that's our old Mexican fam, African family that came over here and put the Nile Valley science down. You see what I'm saying? They, you know, they steal, you know, the students. And to show you the, the, the difference between the student and the master today. You see what I'm saying? So only in Africa where you have freestanding structures, pyramids of, of granite. You understand? You're talking about the Great Pyramid had over 2 million stones. And the average damn stone was five tons. Five tons. You got damn five, you got two million stones, and the average stone was five tons. And you got some that weigh up close to 100 tons, and they damn near at the top. I'm saying they damn near at the top. So they're just showing you something. So let me get this up here so you can see. So when we're talking about timeline of the world's tallest freestanding structure, see, they trying to put, they trying to find garbage and shit and put it in front of the, the pyramids now. And we had to get, we had to check that shit is garbage. Just like they say, uh, 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 uh what's that uh, city in uh, Jericho? It's the oldest city in the world. Man, if y'all, I thought crack went out in the 80s. You mean to tell me motherfuckers still smoking crack? You t you gonna tell me that Jericho is the oldest city in the world? God damn! You understand what I'm saying? And so you know, this is the things they're trying to. So you see, Zosia, you know, and I had to kind of blow this up and but it's showing you how long it lasted as the 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 world's tallest freestanding structure. So if you see, you know, you know, you talking about uh uh. Pyramid of Zosia was 205 feet in the sky. You see what I'm saying? 205 feet in the sky. Uh, which means, you know, you're talking about 10 feet is, is a story. So if you're talking about downtown, you know what I'm saying? You're talking about a downtown uh, a skyscraper, you know, 10 feet is basically what they say a story. You see what I'm saying? So that was a 20-story building. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if that's the oldest, you know damn well they ain't started with no damn 20 stories. You know, they had, you had to start with one story before you got the 20 story. And this is the oldest one in Africa. So, you know, there's a lot of development that's being hidden. Because you ain't just going to start off your, your first time with no damn 20 story building. Okay, then you had May Doom. You had May Doom. And matter of fact, let me, I got something, let me get it so I can show you the Pyramid of Zosia. You understand what I'm saying? Which was constructed by the Grand Master Architect. Right there. Uh, uh, Imhotep. Now, that's not Imhotep. That's actually Ptah. You understand what I'm saying? But Imhotep was the high priest of, you know, of Ptah at that time. And Zosia was the Grand Master of the misery system, the craft of Ptah. This, and so when you go to Saqqara, 
That is the oldest lodge in Egypt. That's the oldest lodge, which you need, you know, what niggas call today some type of Masonic or this, that, and the third, which had the ancient Africans had nothing to do with no Eurocentric thinking. This is where the brothers went to get their education at that time. And under the Great Pyramids, it was the it was uh Zosia. Um, I mean, it was Ptah who was the supreme deity. You see what I'm saying? So this right here was constructed around 2700 BC. You see what I'm saying? And so it was the old, it, it was the tallest freestanding, meaning ain't no mound under there, ain't no mud or no dirt or nothing holding it up. Is 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 standing of his own structure. You understand what I'm saying? It's standing of his of his own weight and design. Okay. And so, you know, you don't have no, you know, so when you do it and you get, you get specific, see, you get specific about this, you know, you get specific about it. And then you start seeing that the naysayers get to falling off. And when I, when I, when you bring that one fact out, when you bring that one fact out about free freestanding structure, they go lead the conversation. They're going to lead a conversation. They don't, they ain't going to want to have no more goddamn conversation with you. They ain't going to want to have no more conversation with you. And so the next one was uh, uh, the Bent Pyramid. You understand what I'm saying? The Bent Pyramid is right here. You see, this is the Bent Pyramid. And so for it, it, it became the next tallest. You see what I'm saying? And so, you know, and, and you know, it, it, and so when you come down here, Zosia Pyramid, you see what I'm saying? It remained the tall. You see over here in the third column, you will see that from 26. And what you want to do, if you want to look this up, if this is not as, uh, as a matter of fact, let me see if I can get it bigger for the family because you got to be able to see it. You know what I'm saying? You got to be able to see it. But you can look this up. And this is about the only thing that you can, you know, you know, some statistics. You know what I'm saying? You let me let me even bring it up a little more. Okay. You just look up timeline of world's tallest freestanding structures. You see what I'm saying? And when you do that. You understand, and you, you're not going to even, you know what? I didn't see one American so-called, because it's not a pyramid. You understand what I'm saying? It's not a freestanding structure. It takes, it takes so much more scientific, you know, you know, achievement. You understand what I'm saying? It takes tons of more scientific knowledge to put up a freestanding structure. You see? I'm saying you anybody can play in the mud and put a goddamn and y'all motherfuckers keep dumping uh, uh pails and uh, dirt on top until you get a mound and then you go around it with some damn to get an illusion nigga that yeah and i suspect our people that's how they had to do it you understand what i'm saying they had lost the greatness of ancient egypt and so that was the level and i still respect that but don't keep telling me that the goddamn Amer or no other and, and another thing pyramids come to a point. And so that's another thing that I always stress to my peoples out there to be ge geometrically correct, because those are not damn pyramids technically in which you, you hear the general say, in which when you're dealing with, uh, MOT, technically those that's a stack map master by that's a multi-level master by. If you see the bottom in the black, you see that that's that's where he started. That's what you call a master box. It's a, it's a single story structure, and many of the early kings had that. And even during the time of the pyramids, everybody couldn't afford a pyramid. So they had master bars. You understand what I'm saying? All throughout, and it's just a single story. You know what I'm saying? Emotep stacked them. You understand for the first time, he's something greater. And, you know, he just kept, he didn't have no, from the original blueprint, he didn't have the step pyramid. But as he kept going and he said, well, damn, let me keep, 
you know how you you get you know i keep doing re I, it be times where i do research and i'm only looking for one thing and then i open up a portal to 20 other goddamn i just keep going i you know if i'm really on some fire and i get to opening up shit that i didn't even think even exist i keep going and going until my mind just exhaust itself you understand what i'm saying because you know it be like that i i spend days in a in a portal because it's information that i didn't even know existed and it's so profound that i can't let the vibe go so i just keep you know i, I just keep you know you know feeding from the vine you know what i'm saying and so he did that and when you know when he ended the, his 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 architectural uh you know development he had a step what they call a step pyramid but we have to be technical that is not actually a pyramid you understand what i'm saying because a pyramid is smooth on all sides you know and, and it come to a point you understand that's a pyramid you know that's a triangle that's right there is not a triangle and we're not gonna say it's a triangle we saying pyramid in the sake of because it is a monolith and we want to give all high and he was emotep was the fundamental architect that took us to the pyramid a if it was not for emotep then we probably would not have gotten there because we don't see any one before him that took it to that level you see what i'm saying and so you see here at uh may doom they trying to appear you know the steps in they trying to fill the steps in as you can see right here you know what i'm saying but you know obviously the outer casing was not solid and so the outer casing end up falling in it end up falling in and i don't even believe it even reached completion you know what i'm saying i don't even believe it reached completion and if it did like i said it, it you know there was some flaws in it so you see this is the development stage that i have to show you that ain't no goddamn aliens landed and you know you know it was a developmental stage there were mistakes that were being made you understand the africans was making mistakes and so this was one of the mistakes where the outer the outer uh the outer casing fell down and down in there where Motep had you know you got in there you see at uh may doom they're filling them in you see what i'm saying they're filling them in you know trying to bring it up to the true pyramid smooth on all sides steps, not in steps smooth on all sides coming up to a, a point you see what i'm saying and 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 even on all sides even on all sides smooth on all sides coming up to a point you understand the inclination of, of a, a point a straight line from that point on all sides down to the base you see smooth and, and and even and straight from the point down to the base you see what i'm saying and so here is the bent pyramid you understand and it was the tallest it was the tallest also you know what i'm saying i don't know how many years it was the tallest let me see the Ben pyramid was the tallest for five years the may doom pyramid which i just showed you with the outer k it was the tallest for five years you see what i'm saying it was the tallest for five years the red pyramid which i'm about to show you is the tallest freestanding structures for 30 years now that's the first true pyramid in the world and it was constructed by sneffer root okay 26 13 25 89 i'm showing you the development within the physical body of africa don't let nobody tell you a motherfucker came from outside from the master bar to the step what we call the step pyramid of uh of, of zosia Imhotep, to the you know to the to the pyramid of may doom where the outer casing fell to the bent pyramid and they even in the bent pyramid you know you see right there at the you know almost to the top where they had to incline the rest of the pyramid because it was cracking you understand they had got calc they had miscalculations and they knew if they would try to bring that pyramid up 
to the actual point that they had designed it that it would have caved in. And so they had to take some pressure off of it. And so they made a, a sloping incline at that point that made it, it looks bent. It looks bent. And so here, that's a flaw. Even though that was one, it, it would have even still, you see how the volume of how many stones is on that pyramid. You know, the volume is 1,237,000 and 40 or some you know tons you understand what i'm saying of, of, of volume you know what i'm saying so that's a one of the largest you know you got tall structures and then you just got monster monster monstrosities of structure and this is a monstrosity and i'm not saying it in a negative way it's just so immensely large that is mind-boggling how big it is, you see? And so for after all the flaws, for the first time, Sneferu, the father of Khufu, he built the first true pyramid, and it's a very beautiful pyramid. And so as I'm showing you these, the tallest freestanding structures in the world, I'm about to cut into you and show you where they sell these blocks from. You understand what I'm saying? This is going to... This is another thing that's just going to blow the mind that they, they're not telling family. You know what I'm saying? So this red troop, the uh, red pyramid and those stones, that, that granite is from Aswan, which is, which is very deep south in Nubia, okay? And after that is Khufu. Now, this is the, <laughs> my God, you know what I'm saying? I, it just, you know, wow. You know, that's all, you know, when I got to the pyramid and I looked up, you know what I did? I looked down and said, damn. You know what I'm saying? That's all you can say when you get to it. This don't do no justice. When you get to this monument and you look at how large, it's, 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 it's buildings that might be taller, but the massiveness and the volume of this building is shocking to the mind. The rest of them are shocking to the mind. This one is, is just, you know, you like, you know, this shit can't be real. You know what I'm saying? It, it would, but, you know, because we went through the evolution of a million years, now we understand, you know, how it was possible. But, you know, it, it's, it's just like we were gods. There's no doubt about it. We were gods. We had developed ways of the cosmos and the ways of nature and we did not go go astray at all we just perform as the cosmos commanded us to to perform we stayed in line with the nature with nature and the cosmos and we evolved within that energy and it took us to the we were beyond gods and man this is beyond god you know what I'm saying? Even gods can't build this shit right here, man. And I'm just telling you, just like that, even gods cannot build level. And so you see, you know, you got Kafra, and I don't know. He did, you know, and so once Khufu built his pyramid, look at this. I want y'all to see. Now, that's his son, and it's a very, you know, but he could not eclipse his father. He could not eclipse him, and he didn't want to. That's Kafra. He could not. He could not eclipse his uh, uh, eclipse his father, and this is his son, Menkara, and he couldn't eclipse his father. You see what I'm saying? You, you know, and so for almost 3,000 years, how long did he hold the Great Pyramid of Giza held that record, the tallest freestanding structure for 3,881 years, okay? And, and I'll show you, it was the Lincoln Cathedral that took it from 